Okay, go ahead. Hey, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Esposito, sixth grade science, Ralph Chandler Middle School, and... Uh, Mr. Goff, uh, sixth grade math, and that's uh, Ralph Chandler Middle School as well. Ah, oh, there you go. You ready? Bing! Bang! Boom! Oh! Hey! Hey! Here we go. <laughs> Okay, here we are. Okay, everybody. ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Esposito, sixth grade science, Ralph Chandler Middle School, and Mr. Goff, sixth grade math, Ralph Chandler Middle School. Yeah, there well. you go. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, bang, bang, boom. Hey, all oh, right. Okay, take it away. Um, first of all, I just want to say, were you in here earlier because there's some things messed up on my desk, and I was just wondering, did you touch anything in here? Yes, I did. I had a little bit of your uh, chocolate, coconut, almonds, or some almonds. Oh, you did. Okay. I just feel like there's there are things moved around and messed around, and I, I see some blue hairs here, like someone was here with blue hair, but I don't know what's going on. Anyway. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Oh, I don't know, G. I don't know. Well, who knows? Okay, well, you know what? In math, sixth grade, we were doing frequency tables, okay? Mm -hmm. So we had some frequency table work to do, and um, that's what we're making with the tables with the um, three different columns. Okay, you guys? So you got that for homework. And then we have our seventh grade absolute value, which is what we were doing mostly. We were doing... Um, Integers, oh. positive, negative numbers on the number line. Anything on the number line, that's an integer. And then we were talking about the absolute value. Now, homework, sixth grade math, page one twenty-seven, numbers nine and ten. You're making some frequency tables. You're getting that done. Okay. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. And then math seven, page eighty-two, fifteen through eighteen, and then also number twenty-one and number twenty-two. All right. So science. Let's go. Oh, on. science, Mr. Esposito. What do we do today, moms and dads? Study guide! I consolidated the lesson plans from last week, moms and dads. So I made the lessons from last week today a little bit shorter because I said, you know what, boys and girls, I'm going to give you guys an extra weekend to work on your study guide. So I gave them the study guide so we can have a few more things actually to study over the weekend. That so nice. hopefully, a lot of you moms and dads and students took advantage of that time and you started covering the material over the weekend because we came in today, it was Monday. Reviewed all the answers on the study guide. Boom. They come in tomorrow. They take the test. They had four days to prepare. Who's better than that, huh? So everybody should do well tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a test. It's going to be on the scientific method. Variables, independent variables, dependent variables, uh, experimental group, the control group, and qualitative and quantitative data. And we're going to be covering graphs, pie charts, uh, line graphs, bar graphs, pictographs, diagrams, so on and so forth. That's all in their notes. And it's in their study guide that we packaged up. That's yeah. a lot. That's a lot. We did a lot. Hmm. Mm. All right. Well, hey, that sounds good. Ready to go oh, out. We got on, a time uh, the timer. We got a cartoon. What we got doing? a cartoon oh. coming up. It's not time for timer. It's something else. Okay. okay. All, All right, right, ladies and gentlemen. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. There you go. Oh, hey, Mr. Oh, Mr. Oh, Mr. Golf, and let's go. Come on to the circulation. Starts with your heart, what a great sensation. Come on to the circulation. Out through your arteries, into your veins. Your heart pumps your blood, then it does it again. So come on, everyone, get it on, everyone. The circulation. So come on, everybody, exercise your body for circulation. Circulation. Like a river, it's always in motion. 